Hello guys and welcome to the Fracture Guide. I know you guys were waiting a long time for it, but it fin it's finally out. I have a lot of things to show you. I will not show every lineup I know. I will show you and explain you the default lineup I use uh, and I show them in the video. Uh, if you want to know more lineup I do and the crazy lineup, they're all in my Discord. They have like pictures explaining everything I do in this video and also uh, pictures for lineup I don't show but there was everything there. So if you want to have a easy, an easy way to remember my lineups, they're all in my Discord. Now let's go into the video and enjoy because there's a lot to talk about. Let's start with attacker side on A side. The execute I like to do on A side is this one. So there's that wall that covers you from uh, robes, uh, city, and this move from fish, but also uh, that wall that covers you from chamber trap. So this is really easy to make and you will have to do it before the round starts, only for the wall though. You just put yourself in this corner until you are stuck and you will watch here with the green point of the wall, like this. You just do a simple left click. Then you put yourself uh, in front of this line, like this, and you watch this corner up left here and you do a jump and instantly a left click. And this wall would go towards this, like this. Once you did that, you can see that you can push from main and get protected from here and take space like this. And use that wall to cover you from city. And also if you want to push sand, you can flash, clear corners and get protected from this also. So this is really a wall and a smoke I like to do if we play both sand and main. If we play only main, I suggest you to do only the smoke for dish and this wall instead. This wall instead will protect you uh, a lot better uh, to go on site. And you don't have to use that smoke. It's only if you want to keep it to, if you want to play from here and get protected from dish and watch here, you might need your smoke instead of your wall. So it, it depends what you want to do. Because there is a little thing I like to do with my wall. Uh, you will plant here like this. You have to look the corner and then you will go in front of that line and you will watch this dark point and you do a jump and instantly a right click. The smoke is gonna land here and it's gonna give you the perfect one way uh, for the plant. Like this. And the guy who's defusing is not able to see you. Even if he crouch or whatever, he doesn't see you. But as you can see, you can see him really easily. Now, if you want to play lineups on A side, there was a lineup for Here. up, Here. down, and under. And all of these lineups are from this door. You put yourself here. If you want to do a lineup here. upside, you'll watch this little line here with uh, the HD of the snake bite like this. So this one is going above side. If you want the lineup to go under uh, the default plant, you watch the same spot here, but you go all the way up to the to the other gray line. So like this, all the way up. You stop here and you do just a left click. And then this one will go for default perfectly. And the last one is from under. This one is a bit more complicated, but it's e like, you just need to look under this yellow line here uh, with the HED under the HP, the, the left line, like I'm showing on the screen. And you just do a simple left click. And this one is going under. But with this snake bite, I suggest you to not plant fully in the corner. I suggest you to plant a bit in front, watching main, so that the spike uh, lands in the middle here and the snake bite takes the wall uh, plant. Uh, there's also two one way on dish uh, that you guys might know, but the first one I suggest to you to not do it because it's not a good one way. I will show you uh, if you want. You have to watch this corner uh, with the second zero, the first zero of your HP uh, like this, and you just do a left click. It's gonna give you a one way like this. But the thing is, you see them like this, but they can also see you. So it, it doesn't matter. In my opinion, this one way is not good. The only one way that is uh, playable, I mean, you, you could play from here, but I don't really like it. Um, this one way was playable is you have to watch this corner 
and you watch the auto corner here and you need to jump and right click and then you play from top here and you can see everything like they cannot see a single part of your body they cannot see anything from here to here it's a really good one way in my opinion if you want to control dash but i suggest you to be careful because you have a lot of open space here but the first smoke i'm not a big fan of it if i play dash i prefer to use that one so now we had to B-side and be ready because there's a lot of things to talk about. <clears throat> first is the walls. There is two walls uh, you might need to do. And the first one you will need to get in this corner like this. And you will just watch uh, this corner here. Let me take this. You watch this, this corner here, okay? With your crosshair. You just put your crosshair in this corner and put the wall. You will see that this wall covers you from here this corner when you get to side you should always shoot that corner we never know if someone is hiding always do it and the wall what i like about it is that is that it covers you from tower if someone is pushing from arcade so it gives you it gives your team a cover for someone lurking here so that he doesn't have to focus here and he can instantly peek here it's a really good wall for um someone who's lurking in your team the second wall uh you put yourself uh, I think it was here and you just look in front of you it doesn't need to be specific you need to hit that box okay so you just do this so that it covers you from here top city and if someone tries to lurk and you take control of uh, arcade uh, tower you might need this wall to protect yourself it's a really good wall to preside sometimes your teammates Toxins might ask you down. to do it because they like to take more space or something like that. I am not a big fan of that wall, but if you'd like to do it, you can do it. Now, there's another smoke that I that I just did and I will enjoy it. I might try it in game uh, as soon as I had to fracture. You put yourself in that corner again. Everything will be in that corner so that it's easier to remember. Uh, you will watch, it's a bit more complicated. You will watch uh, this little space, this little square, and you will watch the up left corner, okay? And you watch like this, you can see it on the screen, and you put the upper right side of uh, the white box uh, in this corner. So you do this and you just do a simple left click. You will see that the smoke will land here. This smoke's land here for a specific reason. This smoke will cover you for city, if you'd like to only use it to push. And also will cover you, uh, if you push from arcade, it will cover you here. So people who are smart <laughs> will always see it coming. If you use that smoke, you can use the same wall I showed you at the first. At first. So people coming from arcade have the perfect cover to push uh, arcade and main so you can push like this cover for here cover for here and people who push side have the cover for here and if they want to play aggressive they only have to watch here so what i suggest you is when you use that setup you could like put yourself here that's where you wait a bit what i would do is activate everything spray snake bite in this corner shoot here and peek you might only just look at this because you are fully protected because of that smoke. So this might be a really good execute on B side if you want uh, to do like this. Then of course there's a smoke you can do uh, for tower if you'd like to protect yourself from here. Uh, you just need to look uh, not on the first leaf but second one, like the tip of it, uh, with the uh, left point uh, like this. And you just do a jump and left click instantly and you will see that the smoke is landing uh here and gives you a protection for tower it really depends what you want to do with the smoke but i i think i will i will be a big fan of that one uh i, I can't wait to be in fracture to use it but there is another smoke you can do let's say you use the smoke for tower okay and you decided to plant in this corner so you plant in this corner, you come back and you just look at this spot. You just do a left click and the smoke will land here. You can play now from tower and you have a perfect one way for this guy who's planting. Because guess what? If he's planting, even if he crouch, he doesn't see shit. If he wants to defuse, he will not be able to defuse. 
and you will have the best one way uh, for this. Now, let's talk about lineup. I only use lineup for two from two spot on B side. I have a lot more lineups, but I will show you only the lineups that I use. Same for A side. I showed you three lineup. I have a lot more lineups to do. Uh, they're all on the Discord, uh, as I said in the intro, but I only show the lineups that matters. So, let's say you planted here, default, it's the easier plan to, to do lineup. You can put yourself in front of that line and you will watch here around this area and you will put the center of the ultimate like this. Then you just do a simple left click, sorry for that, and this snake bite is gonna land perfectly default. This is the lineup I would really like to do. Uh, in my opinion, you don't have to know another one if you want to play lineup, because playing lineup here is difficult. But I have a solution. First, let's say the plan is still here, and you didn't have time to go in the back, and you're playing from tower. Well, you have a lineup from tower. You can put yourself in this corner, and you will watch this one, this corner here, okay? With the crosshair. You just do a simple left click. Oh, a bit down, sorry about that. And then the lineup will land perfectly default. It's a really good one. I, I have a clip last video, I think, where I showed it. Uh, you need to be uh, like, you can look a bit down if you want. And it will land always default. So it's a really good lineup uh, from tower. People will not expect where it's coming from. And then I have another one that is really specific because we have to cr you have to crouch. Uh, I have a picture showing you right now how to do it because I think it's really hard to explain. So as you can see the pictures you have you had to do like this. And you will see that the snake bite lands default. And then div another one for a plant in this corner. Uh, oh again, I'll show you a picture of how to do it. So you crouch and you look in that corner like this. And you will see that the snake bite is landing. Right here. Oh, the plan wasn't here, but here. It's a really uh, good uh, lineup position because enemies will never be, will never expect you to do a lineup from here to that corner. So it's really specific situation. It's only if you plant it here uh, because if you want to play lineup, the easier spot to play lineup is this one. So it's up to you guys. Now let's talk about defender side. Defender side, I enjoy more playing on B at the moment than A side, but I will show you everything I know on A. Uh, because there's a lot of one way only for this spot. The first uh, one way is you have to put yourself here and you watch here and just do a simple left click. The smoke goes here and the smoke only works if you're on top. If you're on top like this and like this, people will not be able to see all top side, okay? But if you play under, they will be able to see you, you can tell. Well, there's another solution. You can put yourself in this corner and watch on the top here and just do a simple left click and this one you can play from under if you'd like and you have a really good one way uh, for here well you can only you can also use it from the top uh, it's uh, your choice but there was also another one this one is really hard to do uh, you have to put yourself in this corner so put the crochet here by looking down okay then you look here and do a jump and a right click. Sometimes it fails, I, I knew it's gonna fail. There we go. Then I play there, this corner. Because in this corner, watching here, let's say you wait for hearing steps here. People, if, if the enemy team push from here, they will not be able to see you. So it's a really good spot if you want to play. Let's take you. you you play here, people are starting to come. You put the one way up, you have the best one way possible for main because they cannot see clearly where you are even by crouching. Uh, so you play like this and then you can play off angle because you are protected for people you are pushing from sand. They will always take space here and you have an easy off angle of them. It's a really good thing to do. Then <clears throat> there was another one way uh, you only use it if you know that the enemy team is not smoking this part. If they are, if they are not uh, have if they don't have a wall or smoke here, you can use that one way. Let's say they smoke here, 
uh, sand and city. Well, you can do this one. You put yourself around this area and you just look up here and it's gonna give you this one way. You put yourself here. You can either stay on top like this or down. Either way, it's gonna work. They cannot see anything here. So it's a really good one way only if uh, they didn't smoke this part of the site. Well, you now have one, two, three, four one way of on A site. There is no excuses to not use a one way on A. Well, there's another part. Uh, you cannot use a one way if you want to play dish. If you want to play dish, I suggest you to put a single smoke like this. It's also a really good smoke to retake side. And let's say you play dish like this. So you have a really good control if you want to play back and come back, I say. Because sometimes I really like to play dish and ask for my breach to stun, have a peek and something like that. So I suggest you to use a normal uh, smoke. Uh, for the walls, I know that if you don't want to use your smoke, let's say you're on, an e on, on eco rounds and you want to keep your smoke for the credits, you can use your wall like this. You just need to look the minimap and hit that corner. So that it protects you main like this, give you a space here and give you a space here. They have to cross three times your wall. Uh, you can also play some angles like this. Let's say they are pushing. You can try to play in this corner and try to have a peek. It's really up to you what you want to do with your wall. But most of the time, if I play on A side, I keep my smoke either for one way or a simple smoke. And what I do after that is that I go tower and I put a wall like this Here. that helps B side. It's always what I do because let's say they don't push A but B, you also have a wall to protect yourself from someone playing main, so it's a, a good wall to retake. Now that we talked about A side, let's talk about B side. And this is my favorite side to push uh, to play at the moment because in my opinion, your wall here has the best, um, how, how can I say that? It has the best potential in this map. So you put yourself on the first line of this there, out of the ramp, and you watch this corner, okay? A bit on the right. You do this and you will see that if people start from Arcane, they will first have to cross one wall, then a second wall, and you'll have uh, people playing here or here, and a third wall uh, if they want to push from here. And what I really like about that wall is that you can use it as a retake wall. Because you know, I know, when we retake B side, most of the time they will have someone on site, in tower, arcade, or main. But most of the time there will be someone tower, arcade, and, and side. Like 99% of the time, that's that's how it is. So you will have your wall protecting yourself from arcane, and this is what I love about that wall. Then when I do that wall, I use a single smoke. When the round starts, I can show you how it works. When the round starts, so this is how I do. I put myself here, I wall, I come here, I wait for the round to start. I just look around this area. And it's just a simple smoke. Uh, this smoke protects you from main and the corner. This is my favorite setup on B side at the moment. I can play from tower, put line uh, snake bites to uh, stop them pushing. Anyway, B side in my opinion is the best side for Viper at the moment with the changes breach got. It depends also about your teammates. If your team wants to play B, you can have control of A. Well, it depends off your team always. Otherwise, I think, guys, it's over for this guide. But before we end, I will show you a bit bonus. Uh, which wall you can do, what do you do if you wall, uh, if you ult. So there's a setup I like to do when I ult, and this is this one. I come here, I do the smoke for B side. I come here, I put the smoke for myself. Then I come main. I, 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 I put myself in front of this, and I look around here, and I ult. I play shorty, of course, and this is really good because they will have to cross everything and about the time they get here, they will be low HP. So you will need to do only one shot and they are dead. And I like this uh, setup because when they see a Viper ult, what they will do is pushing doors. So if they push doors, you have your smoke up to you, for you. You activate your smoke. You can, if they really uh, push fast, you can throw a snake bite. It will stop them pushing. Your team have time to come ropes and help you. 
and you can come back in your ult if some if someone took a timing while you're out playing a snake bite you can go back in your ult and one tap the guy he's pushing the only thing you need to, to be careful of is dish but most of the time you have a chamber trap protecting yourself so it doesn't matter and on b side uh nothing extraordinary uh the only thing you have to do is uh putting your wall uh like this now you have the wall that protects you and then i ult and again i wait for people to to push and if you like to be a bit sneaky you can go up here go all the way down and try to have a, a, a timing and kill them but i don't suggest you because sometimes people uh, see this and they will think you go there so it's a bit risky Thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate you for staying uh, to the end. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, uh, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you again for the recent support. Love you guys and see you Wednesday or Friday for a new gameplay video.